Good evening and welcome to the Year 11 Subject Information Evening. My name is Mrs. Liptrot and I am the Head of English here at the Radcliffe School. As you are aware, your child will be receiving two GCSEs as part of their English study. The first will be in English language. This is the one that students need for progressing to sixth form, to college and for employment. They will also be receiving an additional GCSE in English literature, as well as the spoken language endorsement. This is an additional qualification that's graded at pass, merit and distinction. And this is an opportunity for your child to present a speech to demonstrate their ability to communicate and respond to questions. In English language, your child will be looking at the way we use texts, both fiction and non-fiction, and be assessed on their ability to create text of their own. In this qualification, students will sit two exams. In paper one, they will focus on fiction texts. They will have an extract from a book and they will be asked a series of questions in which they analyze how writers use language and structure to create impressions of characters, places, and so on. The second section of this exam, students will be required to create their own piece of writing that is based on an image or a word prompt. And this is a creative piece, and a lot of students find this a really enjoyable part of the exam. The second language exam, paper two, requires students to look at non-fiction texts. They will have two sources in this exam and they will be asked again a series of questions looking at how writers present their thoughts, their opinions, their attitudes, and they will be asked to compare these two sources. In the second section of this exam, students will create their own non-fiction text. They may be asked to write a speech, a letter, an article in which they put forward their own views and opinions. Both of these exams are weighted at 50% each, so they're equally as important as each other. In English literature, your child will study a range of traditional literary texts. In their first exam, they will look at um, a Shakespeare play, which will be Macbeth. They will be given an extract, and again, they will be asked to write an essay on a character or a theme linked to that extract and how that character or theme develops across the rest of the play. In the second part of that first paper, they will then write about a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Again, they will have an extract and they'll be asked to write about a character or a theme. That exam is worth 40%. The second exam in English literature is worth 60% and in that exam they will look at a modern play, we will look at an inspector calls. There is no extract for this one so students will need a knowledge of the play and quotes in their memory. The second part of the exam will be based around a poetry anthology which students will study. They will be given one poem and asked to compare it to another from memory. This is quite a challenging part of the exam for a lot of students and we recommend they begin learning those key quotes as they go through year 10. The final section of that exam is they will be given an unseen poem asked to write an essay on that, how the poets present their thoughts, their feelings. And then there's an additional question where they are given a second unseen poem and asked to make a comparison. So that is the longest exam that students will sit. It is a two hour and 15 minute exam and that one's worth 60%. If we go back to English language, what can we do to help our children revise? Reading is the best thing to prepare students for that exam, getting them to look at a range of different text types, whether that be newspaper articles, looking at biographies from historical, sports people, celebrities. 
whether they are reading fiction pieces, whether they are looking at excerpts of travel writing, all forms of reading will really help support students in preparing for that exam. In literature, it's a little bit easier for students to revise as there are those set texts for them to look at and key quotes for them to learn. So students will need to be familiar with Macbeth, A Christmas Carol and an Inspector Coles. We recommend students have their own copies of these texts so they can highlight key quotes, they can annotate what techniques they're seeing and again this will really help prepare them and make their revision really meaningful and precise. They will also be given a copy of their poetry anthology. Again, putting that effort into getting those annotations done in year 10 will make that final exam process much easier. In terms of preparing for unseen poetry, again, looking at different poems on all different topics by all different people will really help students prepare for that. There are lots of revision activities that students can do. They can access GCSE Pod in which there are hundreds of really useful videos about language and literature and students can use their school logins to find these. Quizzes on Tassamai will help with that knowledge of quotes, key themes and again it's that little and often revision that will be really useful. Um, Mr. Bruff on YouTube, again, is an excellent um, source for giving students really clear, really helpful information in preparing for their exams. We're often asked how you as parents can help your students. At home, making sure they have a quiet place to work is really beneficial. If that's not an option, encouraging them to use the learning hub here at school and do some revision at the end of the day. Discussing the texts with your child, sending them to revision sessions, encouraging them to read newspaper articles. Lots of these can be found online. They can access them via the iPad. If your child isn't sure what words mean, encourage them to look them up. Again, the iPad is a brilliant source for that. They can type in a word, find out what it means, and that will help them understand and unlock those texts. We've placed a link there to assessment resources from the exam board. And in addition, your child's teachers will be putting resources on Teams in their class folders for students with practice papers and things to really help them prepare. So if you have any further questions, please direct your child to speak to their classroom teacher. Feel free to contact me if there is anything I can help you with. And thank you very much.